Yay. Awesome. <laughs> Well, it looks like we hit all of the boxes. So I'm super excited to be here with you guys. <laughs> yes, definitely. So while um, oh, we got all these participants coming in through Zoom now, um, welcome, Kathy. Welcome, Jamie. We're so excited. Lisa, Maria, oh my goodness. Um, we're so excited you're all here. And we are so thrilled yes. to be sharing with you um, this massive launch that's happened um, in the last few days and is live now. So without further ado, hey, Erin from Maine. Oh, hey, yay. We're seeing some um, yes. serious TLS peeps here, right? Yes. Our, yes. Hi, Renee. Uh, Okay. Oh, from Calgary, Canada. Hi. We got Canadians. We're oh. international. Yeah, Montreal, <laughs> Canada. Hey, hi, Nicholas. Right on, everybody. Well, um, as many of you know, we've been working for quite some time on these new mini plans and recipe booklets, and we're just so thrilled to let you know that bump it up, drum roll. Ta da! <laughs> here they are we're so excited aren't they amazing and beautiful oh my goodness we're so excited about this new fresh clean look um we wanted to stick with you see the little color stripe there so it's a little you know blast from the past with the yellow stripe for rapid results and the seven day detox so all of you people who understand the color coded don't worry we kept it <laughs> it's there so we also revamped the adjacent and um uh re recipe booklets so those are all brand new and beautiful and pictures in them and oh my goodness it's so exciting so we're going to show you some of those here and we want to let you know that they are live on your tls slim site and this is live in us canada uk australia singapore hong kong and taiwan so excited um it's live every everywhere and so they have all been localized to your specific markets so UK, you're going to see your courgettes, you know, you're not going to see the zucchini, you're going to see the courgette. Um, and, so, and so all of that fun stuff has been changed so that you have your country's menu plans live on your TLS sites, which can be downloaded on um, each program page and or downloaded from the resource center on our TLS Slim. No matter which country you're in, there they are. I do wanna let you know that the recipe booklets, they're all uploaded USA English. And they are big documents and they took a long time and it will take some time for us to localize them and do all the things we need to do. So be patient with us on that. Um, it will take some time. And we just want to um, do a shout out here because although, um, you know, we sort of got this ball rolling here, us three ladies, uh, <laughs> we had some help. We had some Boy, help with yeah. <laughs> um, and we, we just want to say a special thank you to the TLS coaches and trainers who um, had a hand in helping us with the recipe booklets specifically, because that was a um, monster sized project. And it was just so wonderful that this group of incredibly talented and volunteer army came together to help us out with them. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we appreciate it. And so Zan, we're so excited. Tell yes. us about this. Yes, yes, so excited. Right? Since I came on board, I constantly hear a lot of Asian and people who love Asian recipes. Hey, how about the Asian recipe? And because you asked for it, we're delivering it. And that's why we're having our first and foremost the all Asian recipe that you can download. And they're coming on in all market, English and Mandarin. And what Melanie just said, it starts in English, will eventually become Mandarin because it will take time to translate the many different uh, recipes. So I am so excited, I'm so happy. And I know you guys are excited because that's what you're looking for and you want to, and this is perfect if you have Asian customers or Asian uh, clients who always want to have some Asian specific recipe that are catered to that culture. Yes, we are delivering for you guys, check it out. And um, obviously, like, um, like Melanie said, it didn't happen because I created those recipes. It was a collaborative effort. You can see all these TLS coaches and trainers are behind the scenes. So each of the recipes were actually contributed by each one of them. So I want to say thank you to the TLS coaches and trainers. They, they are truly the TLS warriors. So you 
few special that they are working hard behind the scene and contribute their, their special recipe. And because they know TL is more than anybody else, you agree can rest assured these recipes are definitely TL's friendly and still very delicious. I have to say, it's also something that creates such a unique kind of opportunity for all of us to have such an inclusive menu program, right? I just, I don't want anyone to miss out on how exciting it is for us to be able to have meal plans that are so diverse in nature, that are not just localized to the area, but that any of us can benefit from that heavy lift that you guys did with that um, with that menu plan, the Asian menu plan. And it's just, I just really want everyone to think about how it makes TLS so unique with some of those options. Now, Melanie had mentioned that uh, it wasn't just a, a new color coding scheme or new updated recipes and new updated Asian booklets, but in fact, a reframing of what we do with TLS. And I couldn't be happier about the power that we put behind these new meal plans. I mean, are you with me that what is healthy for you is uh, different to everybody by their definition, by their philosophy? There is a very wide variation in what is healthy and then what is considered healthy. What am I talking about? Listen, something can say low sugar on it, but you have to ask, what was the alternative that they used for flavor, right? Something can be low fat and you have to ask yourself, well, I understand that that's uh, commercial healthy, but what did you replace that fat with? What new to nature molecule, what new to nature chemical are you replacing that with, right? So what we did is we did a reframing for people so that they wouldn't have to ask that question about, what is considered healthy? What is your healthy? What is whole food, right? So this is what we did. TLS has always been a whole food meal program, but because we reframed it with this idea of answering those questions about what is healthy, what is healthy for you, and then what is healthy for where you are in your journey with weight loss, we took the guesswork out with these new meal plans. Um, uh, we expanded what is whole food, right? We expanded our whole food approach by making the lists more robust, by making the list expansive. It's not just that Asian booklet, right? We looked deep at the protein sources, the fat sources, the alternative grains that you could be using that would give you energy, that could support weight loss goals, body composition goals, but also give you a big list to choose from. And that way people aren't coming back to uh, coaches themselves, the internet and asking, can I have it? I'm so excited about what we've done because we've also been, we've also given these new meal plans the opportunity to kind of focus on a lot of the questions that customers and coaches are asking today about how do we really support that physiologic response with helping people understand the role of healthy fats, the role of carbohydrates, the role of protein choices, and how that may change based on your health or your body composition goals. It wasn't just the guesswork on that expansive list, we aligned it with the latest research that was out there. We emphasized, again, those questions that people are asking, often about timing of food, quality of food, sources of food. We answered all of those in a simplified program. The meal plan really, the meal plan really respects where people are at today in the market, looking at weight, looking at food choices, and opportunities that they have to still eat healthy, regardless of being at home, being in a social situation, um, or wanting to kind of come back and revisit their, their programs, right? That's one of the magic parts of uh, the, the questions that we ask and the meal plans that we put together. It lets you reevaluate where you are. The other thing I was really excited that we did with these meal plans is that we balanced them out. The three of us together sat 
and asked ourselves about a balance of the macronutrients. That's the protein, the fat, and the carbohydrates. And that doesn't mean that we decided to create a 30-30-30 plan, but in fact, looked at things like rapid results, looked at things like sure and steady, looked at continued commitment, and evaluated based on the science behind low glycemic impact eating, based on what the literature says today about where we should be applying some of these power foods, and we were able to ratio the protein, the carbohydrates, and the fats in such a way to help you reach your goals, right? So it wasn't just that clean new look, although I am uh, going to give a big round of applause to Melanie Nelson and Sozan for uh, the incredible look that they gave these meal plans. They are so relevant in the marketplace today, right? They're the look and feel of what consumers want in a meal plan, in a program that they want to follow. That clean, crisp new look also gives you simple, clear cut, but expansive whole food lists, right? Gives you access to healthier food choices, answers that questions about fat, answers the question about dairy and grains, really making you incredibly relevant today in this program. At the, at the end of the day, that means results are going to come to our clients, right? They're going to find uh, that it's something that they easily gravitate to with that new look and feel. That with these expansive food lists, that they're able to feel like they're getting everything that they need. And because we balance the macros, they're going to get those results. We're super excited about the launch of these, especially because we got to go global. Absolutely. We have a summary of changes here really quickly just to give you. Um, so starting with the fats, we actually increased the potential number of servings per day of healthy fats in rapid results, sure and steady and continued commitments because healthy fats are important for fat burning, for satiety um, and for supporting brain health, joint health, and maintaining healthy cholesterol levels. There are so many reasons why, um, you know, we felt that this was an important change to the macros. Now people could choose to stay at the two uh, servings of healthy fats, but they could go up to four servings a day simply because of you know, what we have all learned, uh, one of the philosophy changes was aligning with the latest research, aligning with what is going on in the market. And so this was a response to that. Absolutely. You know, dairy was another way that we kind of answered that call for what people were looking for in a weight management program today, a kind of clean food eating plan, and definitely a low allergenic um, meeting plan. You know, Melanie, I'm going to call back to what you said about really following the literature, not just the trends, right? Today, we understand that there are certain foods that at their base are pro-inflammatory. And of course, that means that we have to balance with the, uh, you know, the vitamin and mineral rich fruits and vegetables. There's no question about that. It's all about creating that balance. But one of the things uh, that's true about dairy is that dairy is something that has permeated the marketplace in such a way that more and more people um, are uh, identifying its role in reward centers. Uh, the literature now uh, has really uh, elucidated some of the concerns that we have with immune function and just overall digestive health and well being with dairy. And so, what you're going to notice here is that a more, uh, um, a, a wider breadth of dairy free options. And a lot of people in the past, when it looked at dairy free options, were um, had to ask the questions about what other alternative sources could they use? And so we've really answered a lot of those here. So what you're going to see is that we removed dairy from rapid results and we've added in that whole food starch in, uh, uh, instead to, again, kind of give the body and the meal plan and our clients that energy potential. We removed dairy uh, from sure and steady that you're going to notice as well, right? Trying to move the needle in individuals that may find that dairy was one of the things, poor digestive health was one of the things that was not moving the needle or was acting as an insulation factor for them. We definitely removed the non-fat monikers, dairy options, because removing fat from dairy just left 16 grams of sugar, right? And that by, uh, we all know, 
meant that the foods would be a higher glycemic impact food once you remove the fat. You'll also see full fat options in um, some of these meal plans. In particular, I want to call your attention to the TLS com uh, continued commitment meal plan. You're going to see full fat options, right? A real respect for uh, fat and what it can do with energy potential. But like I said, we measured the macros. We made sure this was a really balanced program across the board. Okay, and when it comes to grains, as you know, grain has changed quite a bit because in the past, we always think whole wheat or whole grain, it's great. But you know, there's a lot of definition. And when you go out to the, uh, to the supermarket, the whole wheat to actually take it to a next level. And that's why we really not only, imp we actually improve our grain option for many reasons. First of all, is the O option, not saying that they're not relevant, but not all of them are updated uh, based on research. And second of all, is we have more better choices now. Like just think of pasta. In the past, it's like either the regular pasta or whole wheat pasta. Now we will go to a supermarket and you see a range of pasta from lentil pasta to like you can pear pasta, brown rice. Like there's a lots of pasta. There's edamame pasta, soybean pasta. And those are great choices for those people who still love the grain, but want a healthy choices. And that's why we want to improve those grain options. We took off the whole wheat bread. We took out the couscous because they're not quite the healthy grain option that everybody knows about. Uh, we recommend taking, if you really want your bread, is the, is the sprouted we are grain bread. That, so we want you to choose better option. And they are available for sure and steady and continued commitment. So I think that when you look at the options, you say, yes, it's finally updated. These grains are exactly what I know that are better choices. And TLS has updated it so that when you show your client or your customer, they will, they will love these new options because they're so on trend right now. Oh, definitely. Um, I have to agree. All the health professionals, I know all the veterans in the health uh, community and, and our um, veterans in the TLS community, any, any health nut really is going to take a look at these options and go, wow, you know, this is really relevant and this is what it should be. So we're really excited about that. We have improved the approved fruit and veggies list on all menu plans. Um, you know, so you're gonna you're gonna see some some um, new additions. You're gonna see that we you know um, put certain foods kind of where they should be when they were in the veggies section. So it it's just it's updated. It's updated and improved. <laughs> right. What did they say that tomatoes? Uh, wisdom. Uh, let's see what did they say. Knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. Right. <laughs> Yes. So we made sure that the fruits and vegetables showed up where they were supposed to show up. You know, we also added um, a kind of new, uh, fresh look at protein, understanding uh, that protein and fiber at every meal makes losing weight no big deal, right? That we really want to appreciate quality protein. And you're going to see that there, everything from supporting um, uh, vegetarian and vegan protein choices that were not previously there. Again, some of what you're going to see with the new meal plans uh, and recipe books uh, associated with the vegan and uh, vegetarian meal plans are absolutely spectacular. A real nod to the organic uh, tofu and, uh, and, and the like really looking at, um, giving you more options for quality protein, knowing that whether as we age, we have, um, extra pounds to lose. Maybe you're someone that is looking to use the TLS weight management program, or you're coaching someone towards, um, improved lean muscle mass, physical fitness, and active nutrition. The protein is really going to speak to you through these meal plans. And we also make other updates. So we actually update the rules to make it very clear cut because as you can see in the previous menu plan, some of the rules kind of got missed. <laughs> and those were uh, was something that we want to continue to apply. So we make the rules much more easy to understand. We also added some fun TLS tips such as the TLS approved sweeteners. So we know that we do baking and we want you to use the right, I guess the right type of TLS approved sweetener so that you feel like I can still use my sweetener. So if there if that, that's the case, what kind of sweetener that TLS will be approved? And we put it right there as well as TLS shakes, right? You know, TLS shakes. Um, and we want it so that you know how to see how that can be part of your, um, your daily intake and how to take that. So we also added a section on that. 
And on top of it, even with the detox menu plan, which I talk a little later, we even added the spices that you can use. We want to make it so simple and easy so that you can give this one cheat to your customer or have your customer download and they have every, all the information they need to make it so simple that they almost have no excuses not to follow it. <laughs> and on top of that, under the continued commitment, we also reduce the grain and starches. Uh, there is to only one serving. In the past, it was like one serving, two serving. It makes it so confusing, right? So we just make it all like that's how all aboard or straight aboard was um, is having each one to be one serving. So one serving of dairy, one serving of a uh, healthy, uh, wholesome starches and one serving of grain. So we make it so much easier as a coach to remember, make it so much easier even as a customer or as a client to remember one serving of grain, one serving of starch, one serving of dairy. For sure. And this is kind of a nice little table um, yes. to give you an idea, right, Suzanne? Yes. So we have, uh, there's some small little changes too. As you know, we're all a big fan of, of vegetable because there's so many benefits of vegetable. We can never get too much vegetable. However, we also be mindful that some people who never eat a lot of vegetable, when they see like six to 12 or eight to 12 serving, it kind of create a little bit of um, a hesitance because they see that to say, hey, I never even eat three serving of vegetable. Now you want me to eat like eight to 12 serving. So we want to make it a little bit more realistic. So we actually go, uh, actually reduce the serving of vegetable, which is six to nine serving. However, uh, D, Suzanne, uh, D, Suzanne, <laughs> D and me, and as well as Nelson, as Nelson, <laughs> you can see. <laughs> And Melanie, we all truly believe that the more you eat, the better it is for us, uh, for everyone. So six to nine is what we recommend it. If you want to go more than nine serving, by all means, go for it, right? Protein, it's pretty much the same. Uh, fat, like Melanie was saying, that we did go up the fat so that you, for those people who need that extra fat to feel satiated, this is where, and it's again, aligned with the latest research. Fruit stays the same, starch, dairy, and grains, which we kind of talk about it, uh, whole grains and dairy. We talk about that so you can see it's so easy to remember as you go uh, glance across you know in and rapid result is starch insurance steady is one starch one grain then in continued commi commitment is one starch one grain one dairy so so easy for everyone to remember and we hope that we make it so easy for you so that you don't need to continue looking at the sheet for the serving size and and um and the portion for each of the menu plan for sure and that's really a big part of what we did so we want to actually show you these documents I'm going to go ahead and bring them up. So Zan's going to kind of go through yeah. a little bit of the detox. We're going to spend just a little bit of time here, not a lot, because they're live. You can um, download them, save them, print them off. Um, they're there for you. So yes. um, here we have, you know, our detox menu plan, so Zan, so yes. So the, the seven day detox menu plan, you will notice there's not a huge difference, but the difference was like the serve, the size of the, I guess on the size with the, the fruits and vegetable has been updated a little bit more. We actually updated the food pictures to be a bit more relevant. So they were chosen for a specific reason. So hope you appreciate the new, uh, the, uh, the new image that we put in there. And on top of that, we have specific, like I said before, we actually put a, um, we often say, you know, we want you to eat as clean as possible. And often, often enough, we want you to use spices. So we actually have a box in there to specifically talk about spices that you can use during detox phase. And, um, and what else did we add in there? That's pretty much it. So it's not a huge difference from uh, from our previous detox, except you probably see the biggest is just literally the vegetable and fruit and adding one more section on the, um, to the, make use of your spices to add more flavor. That's one thing I really love about this in particular with the detox is that kind of emphasis on really get some of the love that you that you want in a meal plan with those spices because they have health benefits too. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, awesome. Okay, what do we got next? We got 14 day fat shredder. Let me bring that menu plan up here really quickly. Um, oh, wait, can you even see this? No, no. yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me try this again. There we go. All right, you guys, sorry about that. All right, so Fat Shredder, um, again, you know, updating some pictures on, uh, you know, a day in the life of Fat Shredder <laughs> and uh, obviously a uh, updated vegetable, fruit, fats, um, you know, protein. You're gonna see those vegetarian options on all of the menu plans. 
um, you're going to see those approved uh, TLS sweeteners. They sort of, the list gets a little longer, the more, uh, you know, um, relaxed the, the program begins. Um, you're all, every plan except for, you know, um, detox is gonna have a little box on nutrition shakes. We got some pro tips here, um, the rules. So like Suzanne was mentioning, um, these menu plans now are, they have all the information now, you know, whereas you aren't creating an additional document for your client. So it's just making your life a lot easier. <laughs> so as a, as, a, as a coach, but also for our clients to really navigate, um, you know, changing their habits. And that's, you know, that's a really big deal. Uh, D. Right. Well, rapid results. This is, you know, one of the things I was, you know, one that I often find people gravitate towards. They want what? Rapid results. Right. And so what you're going to see here is just like we were talking about, there's no dairy in the rapid results. Right. So you're going to see that change. We increased and a lot of you have been sending the love through the chat about um, uh about loving that we added some healthier fat choices, that we increased the number of servings. You're going to see that on our rapid results where we went from uh, just two to a spacing between two and four, depending on what you're looking to do. I mentioned earlier that, you know, one of the options that we have for energy potential is adding in a healthy starch option, something that's a resistant starch that can support both energy and gut uh, health, as well as, you know, your weight loss goals. And much like uh, as Suzanne had mentioned, is that we reduced, right, with a, a lowercase r, the vegetables from a 6 to 12 to a 6 to 9. Again, so that people feel like this is something that they can do. It's uh, something that they can capture momentum with, just like everything, you guys, um, starting um. Uh, not so much starting small, but starting with uh, goals, we end up finding that we're able to move forward and people look over their shoulder and they say, wow, I'm just eating a lot of vegetables, right? So we're really speaking people's language with uh, the reduction in those um, vegetables. But I can't stress enough that um, being realistic and then encouraging optimal adherence and that, that was that space with us making this decision and people will find themselves consuming more vegetables, choosing uh, fruits that they've never eaten before. So it's really an exciting place to be. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it is, it's, I'm, couldn't be more, more thrilled about this. Um, so really quickly here, sure and steady, because you're going to see, you know, again, um, we're adding in some new foods, right? We got some quinoa, chicken salad. Take a look at that. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> so again, just making it relevant, making it um, up to date. Uh, that's a big part of this. But again, you're seeing those good fats. And something you're going to notice here is these little notes, right? So olives, right? Check serving size, watch for sodium content, right? Because it's not eight olives. It's, it's one or two. Um, and so, and so the, um, we're just having these teeny little notes here and there when something is important, right? When, for like instance, please download the vegan and vegetarian handout for more information. When somebody goes, I'm a, a vegan and vegetarian, and maybe they didn't see that handout, we're prompting them on every single one that, you know what, there's another resource for you if you need something here. Um, and so again, you know, we're just looking at uh, this incredible, here's where we introduce um, grains here is uh, whole grains. And, and this is really where we're seeing these ancient grains, these healthy whole food grains, um, and then these new noodles, right? Black bean noodles, lentil noodles, edamame noodles, arrowroot noodles, mung bean noodles. I mean, those didn't even used to exist. <laughs> so now we have this incredible updated um, grain list that is uh, healthier, more whole food orientated. 
uh, it's going to help people feel more full longer. It's going to have, it's more nutrient dense. I mean, there couldn't be more benefits to this new updated, uh, grain list for people. Now they may have never even heard or tried, um, Faro or Kamut, but I'm going to tell you those people who love their pasta, this is going to be your new best friend. Yeah. All right. And, uh, so it just, it's going to be maybe some new foods for some people, but for again, these health professionals, these health nuts, these veteran TLS coaches, we know about these. Um, we've been teaching people about these and now they're on our menu plan. All right. What do we got here? We've got the last and final. <laughs> yes. Continued commitment, Suzanne. Yes. So as like I said before, it's very easy to remember, like it's one, one, one. <laughs> Just think about one, 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 triple one, right? One dairy, one grain, as well as one starch. And you can see, again, we upgraded the pictures of the food, but uh, the serving size, the main difference is adding one more serving of dairy. But in this case, we actually wanted to have that little quote on those kind of um, tips right here was organic or grass fed is best. Uh, so it's not just any cheese is a good quality dairy is what we recommend. So like anything, um, we don't, in TLS, we don't believe in uh, saying you cannot have dairy forever or you cannot have certain food. We really truly believe that if you choose quality food, um, you're that you're still able to be on your journey and still able to reach your goal. That's what it's all about. So it's not about all off limit. It's all about choosing better. Yes. Good, better, best, right? Yes. Good, better, best. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> For yeah. sure. So I want to just show off a couple of the recipe booklets. I won't open them all because you guys have access to these, like I said, but I do want to show off the, um, I want to uh, bring up the Asian recipe booklet that uh, Sozan worked so hard on. Um, you know, it, it's been such um, a fun process to uh, really work on these. <laughs> For some reason, it doesn't want to share this many plant. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Beautiful Asian recipe booklets. And this is the right one because it's got red stripes. Yes. We love red. Yes. <laughs> and so Asian. take a look. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Are the angels singing or what? Don't you just want some Asian food right now? <laughs> I have got to say that this has just been, um, and, and all of our recipe booklets look this beautiful. You guys, yes. all of them, um, they all look like this, which is so fun. And you're going to notice here that, um, we have, because we have one recipe booklet for Asian, the different menu plans are keyed here. So continued commitment, rapid results, sure and steady. So those, um, that's how we know which, you know, how you know which plan you can be on. Um, there, there you have some spotted scat. Is that right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Asian people so will know the that. The whole fish <laughs> in a pan. That's very, very unique. I know that I see, I saw a lot of that um, being in, in multiple different countries. That's not something we do a lot of here in the U.S. So I just think this has just been done so well. Um, beautiful. And I, yeah, it is. It's so beautiful, you guys. Are you just not salivating right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. I definitely am going to be trying some of these at home. So, um, and then I just want to show you again, really quickly here. Uh, I'll give you a quick boo at continued commitment because that is our most, um, lenient program with the most food options, but all of our, again, all of our recipe booklets have this new beautiful look where they have like, look at this. Oh, I just love it. So we have appetizers, we have desserts, marinades, dressings, um, you know, so we have these categories of breakfast and, you know, that kind of thing in every single one of our menu plans, you know, we've got the salads, we've got the soups and the chilies and the, you know, here we go, soup, stews and chilies right there on cue. Um, and we have a lot of those because there's a lot of soups and stews. Um, and then because we're, uh, as we go again, we're incorporating more foods. You're seeing, um, the beef and the poultry and the 
po uh, pork and all that fun stuff. So you guys are going to love these. You're going to be proud of them. You're going to be proud to share them. Uh, we're very, very, very thrilled about these. Um, and we just have to say thank you too, to the incredible creative department Great. that um, all the designers that have just done such an incredible job incredible working job. with us, bringing our visions to fruition. Uh, it truly has been a team effort um, across the board. You know, uh, so many corporate teams have had their hand, uh, so many teams within our corporate machine have had their hands in this project. And so we just want to say thank you to everyone um, that was involved, uh, both from the field to all the teams in corporate. Um, we did update the TLS Trim Tea and Trim Cafe plan, right, Suzanne? Yes, we did. And um but for those people who said, you know what, I still miss my dairy, but I kind of want the rapid result with the dairy. We hear you. So we're keeping the uh, the trim tea and trim cafe menu plan to be the old rapid result plan. So if you have clients who are clinging on that rapid result plan from the old menu, you still have it. And this is the trim tea and trim cafe. For those people who bought that one product, this is the the menu plan but also when you look at the back it's truly is this is one thing that we kept from the from the past that people still hung on it then you still have that choice of that and not worry oh my god so all all, all the menu plan has changed we kept something for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah mainly for those clients who yeah. are hanging on to something you yes. know that they are attached to i do want to let the field know that um we have spent a lot of time updating all the documents in tls that even mention or talk about or show the many plans and recipe booklets so be sure there this is um this should be in lot live in uh, definitely all of them are live in the us uh, but the new TLS overview presentations, all of them in all of the markets have been completely updated. So um, some of them have, you know, really uh, more than just the menu plan update. They've, you know, they've really been enhanced. Uh, we took this opportunity and went, where can we improve everything, right? Uh, not just hey, swap out some menu plan images, but hey, can we make this better? And that's what we did. So I think you guys are going to be incredibly happy with your new TLS overview presentations for your retailing events. Updated the TLS FAQ document, uh, the vegan and vegetarian handout with the, you know, the new images of the menu plan. So definitely download these, um, trash the old ones because you want to be using relevant, relevant documents. Our digital tracking sheets, and the TLS business um, HBP or UBP, whatever you want to call it, it's for both, but it is the UBP slides that are branded to TLS with some additional slides to begin with that really go over what TLS is. And I think you guys are going to be really happy with all those updates. Um, and then again, the TLS health guide and journal had to be updated with all these new menu plans and recipe booklets. So U.S., Canada, those are all updated. And guess what? UK and Australia just went live with their digital <laughs> journal. So, and if Australia isn't there yet, it's going to be there sometime tomorrow. Um, and so don't worry if we had a little bug um, and it's not there, that's, that's going to be handled tomorrow. So UK, you guys now have the digital brand new TLS health guide and journal, the 12 week booklet that um, when someone takes the weight loss profile can download it for free on the results page. So it's there, it's live UK, Australia. Uh, it's either good to go now or will be tomorrow. So we're so excited that, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, essentially, you know, we're, we're taking over, you know, global domination here, right? Global domination. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I think this is just right in time um, for the new year and our, you know, one of the biggest seasons we have coming up and whether you're majoring in TLS now chances, if you're on this webinar, it's because you're, ma you're majoring in TLS. It's your, it's your love, it's your passion, or it's something you're really interested in integrating. Um, but even if you're not, this is a perfect time to leverage uh, this time of year, yes. right? Toby, Toby's saying perfect it's time. time. He's like, it's perfect. <laughs> um, and it is, and we have an incredible challenge coming up the TLS, uh, team tone up challenge in the new year. 
uh, mark your calendar because the official start date is January 24th. Now, of course, some of you TLS coaches and trainers, you're starting groups sooner. All good. Just plug them in when we get started. We're going to be uh, supporting this. Our weekly live Zooms will be open to everyone yes. and all markets. So everybody's welcome to join us as we work through the 12 week journal week to week to week. So everyone can join in and Dr. D will be our special guest on at least one of them. On, in <laughs> April. Yeah. Yes. I made sure I let her know well in advance. Um, so I'm putting her on the spot here because I'm getting a confirmation right now. She's gonna be I didn't on. answer the email. <laughs> So, uh, you know, she might've been in Barbados, but no, now she's going to be on that webinar. So no, we're going to have experts from all over our TLS community. We're going to have some testimonials, but we're going to be expounding on this incredible 12 week uh, journey that we have in TLS of really allowing people to embrace this as a lifestyle, not a one-off, not a thing, not a diet, not something you tried once. No, this is going to be right. As we often say, the last program you ever need. Mm -hmm. And so we're very excited to be bringing that to you guys. Um, there is all kinds of information already posted about this on the TLS coaches, Facebook page. Um, the TLS blog will have a summary as well tomorrow. It'll go live. So there is going to be tons of information coming at you about this new challenge. Pay attention, definitely leverage it because it'll be a fantastic way to uh, support your existing customers, create some new ones, get some friends, some team yes. members, some family members, some coworkers, get them together and have them join us um, in this Tone Up Challenge. Yes. And this is, um, as everyone's getting together with your friends and family, nothing's better than to talk, to share your excitement of TLS and the new menu plan. Because people, when they hear some excitement, how excited you are, they want to know more. And like Melanie said, new year is a natural new year resolution. It doesn't matter every year, January 1st, literally they wake up, they say, ah, oh, I need to do something about it. And if you have that conversation before the, China, before the new year, they will start thinking, hey, I need to contact X, Y, and Z to really get this going. So start having that conversation now. Don't have it in January, start having it right now. And you're getting together with people. This is such a great way to say, I'm so excited, this and this and this, and really highlight the changes that we made so that they are excited with our menu plan. And even to have them do a sneak peek, have them do a the, uh, the new profile that we have that are absolutely beautiful and so easy to use. Use that as a opportunity to create that, that kind of conversation. Then once January hit, they're ready to commit, you're ready to help them. So really truly take advantage of this. That's lovely, yes. that's perfect, that's awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, any last words from anyone? You know, have a okay. Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday. Yeah, then it's Happy Holiday time, right? Uh, I, you know, we just wish you guys all the best, all the blessings, all the love, all the happiness um, this holiday season. And um, we're just really excited to bring a lot of momentum, a lot of positivity, uh, and a lot of healthy uh, movement into 2022. My goodness. I know. 20, <laughs> 2022. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> For sure. We're excited about it. Uh, thank you so much, Dee, for your time um, and always your, your help and your expertise and your support with everything TLS. Yes. Um, so Zan, uh, you know, my partner, and uh, I just appreciate you so much and couldn't do any, all, all of this by myself. So I'm just so thank grateful you. for you thank and you. I'm grateful for everyone on the line. So you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks so much for plugging in. Thanks so much, everyone. everyone.